Normal baking is a great way to add details to a low-poly mesh. In this way, you can reduce the number of faces and still have the illusion of high-detailed mesh. Let's consider a simple example. Add two icospheres, a low-poly and a high-poly one. Rename them accordingly. We want a way to add the same levels of detail in the low-poly sphere without increasing the number of faces. This is exactly what a normal nap does. It creates the illusion of details, simply changing the way the light interacts with the faces. Basically, we want to transfer the details of the high-poly model into a normal map. Then, we'll use the normal map in the low-poly mesh. This is what the normal baking does. First of all, be sure that the meshes have an UV map. In this case, they are automatically created. Open the UV editing view, create a new image, and rename it as you want. This will be our normal map. Set a proper resolution, for example, 2048 by 2048, and turn off the alpha channel. Be sure to check the 32-bit depth property. Now, you want to create a so-called cage object. It basically acts as a source for the projection of rays during the normal baking. Duplicate the low poly sphere and resize it in order to fully contain the other spheres. Rename it as cage. Now open the shading view and create a new material for the low poly sphere. Add a new image texture and select the image you created before. Also, select the same image in the image viewer on the left. Basically, this is the image where Blender will bake the normal map. Now, open the Render Properties tab and be sure to have Cycles as rendering engine. Then in the Outliner, select the Low Poly Sphere, then press the Shift key and select the High Poly Sphere. In this way, you have selected both spheres and have the Low Poly as the active one, the orange color. Now, expand the Bake tab and select Normal as Bake Type. Check the Selected to Active option and select the cage object you created. Finally, be sure to select the image in the material panel. In this way, Blender knows where to bake the normals. Yes, this is a long process, but we are almost done. Press the Bake button. After a short time, you should see the normal map. Now we can use this as in usual normal map. Hide the high poly sphere. Activate the viewport shading method and place a proper light. You can clearly see the details if you turn off and on the normal node. We have the illusion of greater details with the same face count. Of course, this is a simple example. But you can do the same for more complex objects. This is also one of the most useful methods used in game development.